You said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, maybe Ulvund will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. Oh, I guess that conversation is over. All right. This is a nice little tavern you got here, guys. Those do look good. Yum. Or maybe I'm just hungry. I'm probably just hungry. What are you guys looking at? It is pretty. It is pretty. You guys are right to look. It is so pretty. Oh, golly. Okay. So... Yeah, I guess I'll do this next. What is this? Melee pit. Melee pit. What? Where earth or steel? And he's training close combat. Chains of the meal pit can make the difference. Don't laugh Alright. What is this? Ah! You wanted to speak to me? Well, you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there. And not just against machines. Dame's older. This here's my training pit. I want to talk to you about the, uh, eyes. Combat, this side of the Forbidden West. Say. I wonder who'd win in a fight. You, the savior of Meridian, champion of the East, or the Enduring, master of the West. Who? The Enduring, a legendary Tanakh fighter, the master of masters. I've heard the Tanakh have training pits just like this one. It's how the warriors get so fierce, see? And only the very best from the pits get to train with the Enduring. So, to find the Enduring, I should look for these training pits if I'm ever out that way? You'll have to go far if you do. The Tanakh are split into three clans. Three clans, three capitals, three training pits. My guess is you'd have to beat all of them if you want to train with the Enduring. If the Tanakh don't kill you on sight, that is. But that's a far spark in the wind. As for right now, I also offer challenges to test your fighting skill. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Rules are rules. We only use dual blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. You have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But I'll look after your gear, not to worry. So, what do you say? Up for some training? <laughs> I might be. That's what I like to hear. Okay, melee pits test your close quarter fighting skills against other human opponents. Complete all the challenges against other fighters to ultimately face the pit master. The pit also allows you to practice your melee skills in a focus tutorial or an open-ended training session. Oh, okay. Practice your melee skills, unlock more combos, and, un and unlock combos in the focus tutorials. Alright, we'll try this first. Live attacks. I'm already fairly familiar with light attacks. Okay. You're drilling. Uh, gather wild meats. Wait, what? Hit your opponent with light attack. Okay. And nah, 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 nah. Light attacks are fast but easily blocked. So learn to combine them with other attacks. Uh, so then we like the pitmaster challenge. Okay. Heavy attacks. Hit your opponent with a heavy attack. And... And... Nakiba! And... What's the matter, you? Ha! And... Cooking with cookies! Am I not hitting with a heavy attack? Oh. I guess I'm charging an attack. How goes it, Heavy attacks break weapon blocks and do more damage. But they're slow, so your opponents might counterattack. And power attacks. Okay, I was doing a power attack. That was my problem. That was my fault. 
Playing with power. Power attacks smash weapon blocks to really hammer an enemy with damage. But they're slow and leave you vulnerable. So pick your moment. And that's all I can do here. You need to learn Nora Warrior in the skill tree to unlock this challenge. Okay. Can't do any of that. Freely practice your moving skills and unlock combos against the and uh, in this moment, there is no timer. You can practice your melee skill. Okay, so I don't actually want to do that. Alright, well, I guess that's all there is to that. And... Not inventory. Map. Do I have... Ooh. What is that? I haven't done this. There's something all the way in the back of the kitchen tavern bar, whatever in the world this place is. Is it a stove where I can cook my own food with the meats I've collected? No, it's all the way up there. How do I get up there? Oh, a potions master, huh? Can I, can I talk to you? Can I, is there something I can do with you? Hey! Uh, I guess I'm not allowed to do anything with you yet. It, having said that, guys, nice setup here. Okay, I think. I've got everything in here. Unknown machine strike. Unknown machine strike? What's an unknown machine strike? Is that also here inside the tavern? I could take her. No, it's on the other side of the tavern. Or maybe it's not. Oh, wait, what is this? It's a Tanaki game, but any tribe can enjoy it. To revel in some strike, sister. Let me set the board. What I am I looking at? Passing by, I. Mm, first timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh, no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set, a Tanakh original, straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit, 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 sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. I'll give you something special if you win it on my boards too. Your smile is kind of freaking me out. So what is this? The Alloys Gambit? What am I looking at here? What the... Let's see. Uh, beginner's tutorial. Yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. Ooh. Let's start off simple. The Tanakh like to say that Machine Strike is a game of pure strategy. We each get a set of pieces. Each piece represents a kind of machine, and each machine is worth a different number of victory points. And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying the opponent's machines. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so we use these notes to keep track of them. You see that number on the... That there is how many victory points you'll get for destroying that machine. Notes also tell you how far a piece can move. Okay. How powerful their attacks are. The distance they can strike from. Okay. And of course, their health. Go on. Right, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. Oh, thank you. You're just as I impatient board, as I am. So I get to choose who goes first. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. Usually you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but this will do for now. Pick up that machine piece to your right mm -hmm, and move it forward. And I can move it two places forward. Remember, each machine can only move a certain distance. Take a look at your notes if you need a reminder. Easy enough, huh? Mm -hmm. Now, you get to move two machines each round. So go ahead and pick a second machine. 
Okay. Perfect. There's not much else to do for now, so just end your turn. We're forging onwards. Let me move my pieces here. And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? Try with that machine on your right first. Mm. Now move the piece cl When performing an attack, you'll be testing your machine's combat power against the opponent's. A machine's combat power is a combination of the terrain your machine is standing on and its own attack power. This board only has grassland terrain, which has no effect on a machine's combat power. And your current machine has two points of attack power. So in total, your machine's combat power equals two points. Since my machine isn't the one attacking, it has zero points of attack power. And just like your machine, it's not affected by grassland terrain. So right now, the difference in combat power between the two machines is two points. Obviously, yes. This means your machine can do two points of damage to my machine. So two points, yes. Did you get all that? Yes, two points. You repeated it over and over again. Knew you were a smart one. Finish up by attacking my machine. Not pulling any punches, huh? Now grab that second machine of yours. All right. See how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine? Yeah. You can make your machine sprint. That lets it move one space further. Try it out. Uh, okay. Well, how can I... S okay. Downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Now, some players like to take a risk and overcharge their machine in cases like this. Overcharging lets you attack after a sprint, but it will damage your machine's health by two points. So use at your own discretion. Let's try doing that now so you can see what I mean. All right. That's about it for your turn then. But you're not attacking. I'll let you in on a neat trick. That machine of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Same as in the wilds, Machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Hit them there and you'll do some damage, but not a lot. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those and you'll deal a mighty blow. Here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine faces mine. Now let that machine have it. Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet, so let's keep going. Your machine... At Go ahead and move downwards towards my remaining piece. Uh-huh. And... You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece. But if you over... And by the look of yeah. your machine... Overcharge. Let's do, let's do, let's do overcharge. overcharge. Yeah, I get it. Let's overcharge. Ain't that a thrill? Now... Because your machine was knocked out at the same time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're going to receive your victory points before I do. Which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points first. That's why sometimes losing a piece can be the best way to end a game in your favor. Now, you'll notice you didn't get quite up to seven victory points this time, but you did destroy all my pieces. That means you're the winner. That Chicken dinner? So hard, was it? Just remember to always check for the best terrain to attack from. You'd be surprised the advantage you can gain over an opponent like that. I know it saved my behind in a game or two. I'll try and remember that. Oh, before I forget. Here's all the money you owe me. These are all my spare pieces. I want the savior of Meridian to have them. It's a small set to be sure, but it should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. You might even fancy looking out for them strike carvers. They've got all kinds of unique pieces that can turn a game in your favor. Though they'll need the right materials to craft you one. Or you might find them in the wilds if you're lucky. You know, I've lost my fair share of pieces after a night of machine hunting or brew hopping. Oh, no need to thank me. Always a pleasure to help out new strike players. Now, 
If you feel like playing a real game, I've got plenty of other boards. I could even teach you a few more tricks if you're up for it. Thanks. I'll think about it. Okay, thank you for gracefully stepping away from this because I don't know if I'm into this. You get metal shards, the bristleback strike piece. Don't be a stranger. Okay, so that's apparently what machine strike is. Oh no, man. I knew you couldn't resist some good company. Fire and spit. I mean, it ain't Gwent. It's not even the uh Final Fantasy VIII card game. Okay, golly, I love that card game. Uh, how do I get out of this town? Where's the exit? You supposed to be out here? If I find the cauldron, where are you off to? Yeah, that's what I would like to know. Oop, boar. I need you to increase my satchel. you go squirrel no wait you're not squirrel i got excited for a squirrel hello is that a trick one? where oh i see it it's all the way over there Activate your focus to scan enemies holding. Come after me! I'm right over here! Ow! Uh, why did you. Did you hop over the tripwire? Is that what that was? Owie! Owie! That's some fancy wire work. This way! Ow! Oh my goodness! I'm dead! I'm dead! I'm died! That ball of blue snot wiped the floor with me. Well, golly! Let's try that again. And honestly. I don't think I'm gonna utilize the tripwire. The silent strikes are far better. Why kill it like that? What do you think the tripwires are for? Um, to get in my way. Yeah, yeah, I think I will. All right, I'll kill one with a trip wire. Uh, there we are. You know what? Never mind. I can just sound start this one soon. That's the last one. Hello, Red. What a day. What a day. Thank the forge you showed up. Tripwire's here. Machine hunting's a youngin's game. 
Come on over. Let me give thanks proper like. <laughs> Close. I wanna pick it. Come on. Wanna there it is. There we go. I'll get you a minute, sir. Don't worry. You see, you're a practiced hunter. It took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Down that bristleback, headed south. But then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the daunt, you're gonna want a tripcaster. Not just any tripcaster. One of my make. Free of charge. Well, thanks. The looks solid enough. Yep. Been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, well, accidents. Mm, who did you kill? Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> well, like someone. Let me guess. Elvind. <laughs> Back when I had a place in town, he took a real interest in my wares. He kept pressing for the Ulven discount. I said no, he didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that chuff bucket set my workshop on fire. Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. Alright. Cable car operator told me the bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and him got in all sorts of trouble. There was this one time that... Anything about the Bristlebacks? No. Karn said true. Just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you and the Vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. Oh, oh okay. Yep, sure. I should get going. Thanks for the tripcaster. While you're blasting Bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. I gotta kill that boar. Did you know they have a tripcaster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. So Aaron headed south. Where's that boar? Where'd the boar go? Should be able to pick Ooh. up his tracks with Please for his time. Yes, yes, yes. I remember the tripwire from the first game. Ooh, hello. Let's try to save a shot cam. Yes, yes, I know. Ooh, hello there, little pig, little pig. Um. Hey pig, uh, I know you're dead and everything, but do you want to explain to me how you were able to transport through this, uh, this concoction? Okay. What's this? And what's the point of this? Is this for me to lay death from above on any unbeknownst wildlife in the area? Because I don't see any unknown wildlife in the area. I see him. I can shoot him in the head. Oh, wait, there's a stash over there. I need to go take care of that. And there's also that yellow rope. What is that for? No. Yes. This? What is this? Unknown relic ruin. And 
Yeah, Aloy. Yeah, I know. Search for Aaron's tracks. Oh, okay. Tracks. Maybe Aaron's and the vanguards. I am chasing purple ghost. Creepy. Ooh. What is what is the green? Ruin from the old world. I could find something interesting inside. The dawn. Explore the ruins. Treasure await those who dare explore the ruins of the old world. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. What do we have in here? That. What am I hearing? Is somebody being attacked? Oh my word, yes. Could teach me how to override these machines. They're weak against that. Alright, well I guess I'm just doing it. Hey, I'm helping. I'm helping you. Oh, darn. No, I need to make... Get, get, thank you. Hey! Hi there. You want to talk? No? All right, fine. Forget you. Gonna let you die next time. I knocked off a piece. Where'd it go? Is this it? Yes, it is. It is in the school bus. <laughs> Ooh. And oh no, I can't talk to you. Okay. Hey, I saved your butt. What are you gonna I'd give me? I'd like to feel my legs again if you don't mind, Savior. Just stab you right in the heart with this. <laughs> Mighty thankful to you, Savior. Just Aloy is fine. Aaron mentioned you're not one for fancy titles. You're Vanguard. Well, here to escort bodies is delicate behind to the embassy. If we can get rid of these bristlebacks. Captain said to keep an eye on Chainscrape, then these ugly lugs showed up. Gave the first one a good beating. But didn't quite have time to roll out of the way when it fell. Told you it wasn't a good idea to eat that much before heading out. I should probably get going. <laughs> now, if you see any more of these bristlebacks, I'll send them your way. Make sure to roll out of their way. Might want to take some of these with you as well. They're handy in a pinch. Mm. Thanks. Stay safe, Aloy. Smoke bombs? Ooh, cool. Take a fuse nearby enemies and escape back into stealth. Smoke bombs can also be used underwater. How? How does that work? Oh, whatever. <laughs> 